Hey, hey, we're in the final hours of 2022, so now it's time to look forward to the coming year. Here are the movies that I am most looking forward to in 2023, part one. This is the first movie on the list. It is Megan coming out on January the 6th. Now, January is usually the time that studios just dump movies, dump whatever movies they uh, had either from last year or from just movies they don't have confidence in. So Megan could be a trash movie, but it could actually be fun. The trailers have made me laugh my ass off and I got to see how this movie turns out. So, yeah, I'm definitely seeing this weekend one. Next is Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. Winnie the Pooh entered into the public domain a couple of years ago, and we're starting to see some of the first projects and interpretations of the character outside of Disney start to trickle out. And this horror movie version of Winnie the Pooh, uh, it comes out on February the 15th. I'm looking forward to it. I don't know if it's going to be a mess. I don't know if it's even going to be good, but I want more things like it. I want more experimentation. So yeah, looking forward to this one. Next, we have Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania. This is the beginning of Phase 5 of the MCU. It drops on February the 17th. And I'm not the biggest fan of Ant-Man and the Wasp, and the first Ant-Man was just okay. So, uh, fingers crossed, this one looks to be on a larger scale. Looking to make a big splash immediately with Phase 5. So, I'm hoping it's good, and I'm looking forward to seeing Jonathan Majors in this role as Kang the Conqueror. The title alone should sell you on this movie. Cocaine Bear, also de cocaína, dropping February the 24th. Enough said. It's coming on the 3rd of March, we have Creed 3. Jonathan Majors has a role in this movie. He is a old friend slash rival of Adonis Creed, played by Michael B. Jordan. Uh, no Sylvester Stallone in this one. This is fully Adonis' story. This movie is directed by Michael B. Jordan, and I'm curious how this is going to turn out. Oof, Jonathan Majors looks scary as hell in this movie. Definitely looking forward to it. Next, we have, dropping on March the 17th, Shazam! Fury of the Gods. Shazam! back in 2019 was a fun surprise and a really great addition to what the DC Universe was doing and building up. I don't know what the hell is going on with DC and Warner Brothers. I'm hopeful that James Gunn is going to be able to restructure and rebuild things to make it better than ever. But Shazam! should be a fun time nonetheless. Definitely looking forward to this one. Coming on March the 24th, we have John Wick Chapter 4. Uh, if only that shitbag Russian kid didn't kill this man's dog, a lot of people would still be alive. But thankful he did because we now have a fun-ass action series. I'm already sold on this movie. They got my money already. The John Wick movies are dope as hell. This one should be no different. Looking forward to it. And hey, maybe this is the one where John gets got. <laughs> 